starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Yep, and the barn door is open. Well, be careful. Uh-oh, you woke him up. Now we're gonna catch it. It's me, Gramps. What are you doing out here this time of night? Newborn kittens, four of them. Lassie found them. I don't know where she got them, but... Aren't they cute? Jeff! What is the meaning of this? What are you doing out here at three in the morning? And barefooted? Jeff, I'm speaking to you. Uh, Lassie found a litter of kittens. Oh, the poor little thing. When I woke up, Lassie wasn't there. Then I looked out the window and she was carrying one of them out here. Well, that's no excuse for not wearing your robe and slippers. How many are there? Four. Look, I don't know about you, but I got some sleeping to do. I'll get a sack and take them down to the lake. What for? I got to drown them. Drown them? Jeff, maybe you better go back to bed, honey. Why do they have to be drowned, Gramps? Why? Just the other day you were saying we had mice here in the barn. Why can't we keep them? 
You see any mother cat around to feed him? Couldn't we hand feed him? Like we did with those baby pigs. Now stop pulling at me. Kittens ain't pigs. They're too young to hand feed. You might save one out of the lot. Might. Take worth it. Gramps, maybe the mother cat had come, or we could look for her. She ain't coming, and we ain't looking in the dark. She's either dead or been picked up. Lassie couldn't have got near her if she'd been around. Couldn't we wait just a little while, Gramps? Just a little while. Jeff, I ain't drowning these little things because I liked it. No more than I like to put old Bess to sleep when she broke her leg. That mare and me spent a lot of years together. But there's one thing you've got to learn about animals. Time comes when they can't fend for themselves. And you've got to know how to fend for them. You've got to be the judge of uh, how to set them free from pain and suffering. It'd be a whole lot kinder to drown them now than let them starve to death. Couldn't we wait till morning, Dad? Wouldn't be any easier. Besides, the rats might get them. Oh, Lassie will stay with them and watch them. All right. Suit yourself. I'm going back to bed. Put out the lantern before you come in. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, Jeff. Nothing to be sorry about. Maybe by morning we'll think of something. Lassie, you're going to stay and watch the kittens, okay? Oh. Oh. Thanks, girl. how to swallow this way, do you? I'm afraid Dad was right, Lassie. They need their mother. Understand. Now, where'd you find the kittens? They couldn't have been here in the middle of the road. Do you mean to tell me that those little kittens were lying out here in the middle of the road all by themselves? Whenever you look at me like that, it means you don't know what I'm talking about. Remember the kittens you brought to the barn? The little ones that you carried in your mouth like this. Okay, now where'd you find them? It's where 
where you found them? Under the bush, huh? Gramps is right. If the mother cat had been anywhere around here, she would have never let you take them. something by morning. Well, it's morning now. Well, I haven't had a chance yet, Gramps. Look, boy, these little things are dying from lack of nourishment. Your ma tried to feed them last night after you went to bed, but it just wouldn't work. I was gonna ride down to Laura Purdy's after breakfast. Maybe one of her cats is nursing. Couldn't we wait till I find out? When you get a hold of something, you don't let go, do you? Well, I could ride down there right now. It'll only take ten minutes and Mom's not up yet. All right, go ahead. Thanks, Gramps. minutes ain't gonna hurt none. No, really, I gotta get back. What I came over about is to find out if any of your cats had kittens. Kittens? Land sakes alive, is that what you want? A kitten? Oh, no, we've got four of them now, but I can't find a mother cat. And... Well, Jeff, you know as well as I do, this place is full of cats. All you gotta do is pick one out for yourself, that's all. Well, any of them nursing or just finished? Finished what? Nursing. Come to think of it, Jeff, they ain't one of them's got a litter now. Well, it's getting late. i better go. Jeff, I'd sure like to help you, but you just come at the wrong time. Thanks anyway, Miss Purdy. Now, if you'd been here a month ago, mercy, there was more nursing cats than you got hair in your head. Well, maybe not that many, but there sure was a lot of them. There was Snowball and Susie and Blue Belle and Mary Jane well, bye, and... Miss Purdy. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm real sorry. That's okay. Thanks. I don't recollect. What'd you say you needed a nursing cat for? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. doing his chores, I guess. Wash up, honey. Breakfast's almost ready. I don't want any breakfast. Why not? Jeff? What's the matter? Gramps drowned the kittens. He promised not to, but he did. Smells like eating time. I'm ashamed of you. Huh? I don't care about the humanity of it or anything else. But I do care about breaking a promise to a child. What in damnation are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You had no right to do it without telling Jeff. Do what? He's a human being, and he deserves to be treated like one. If I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times that children are also people. They think, they feel, and they have... Now, hold on a minute. I don't mind getting dressed down. 
But I'd like to know what I'm getting it for. You drowned those kittens without telling Jeff. Who did? You did. I did not. Oh, you didn't? I haven't even seen him since you left to go to Laura Purdy's. Jeff! Jeff! <sighs> Jeff! Gramps didn't drown the kittens. Who did? Nobody. What's good into you? You think I'd drown them kittens without waiting for you to get back? Where are they? Where'd you put them? Well, no place. It took them out of the sack and left them where they was. In the same stall? Yep. Yeah. Well, they're not there. Well, they gotta be. But they're not. I looked. Gramps, if you drown those kittens, please tell me. Yes, Dad, you'd better. What's got into you two? You lost your minds or something? I told you, I left them where they was. I ain't been near them since. Well, you don't have to shout. What am I going to do, stand on my head to make you believe me? All right, all right, that's enough. We believe you. Did you look under the straw? Yes. Well, let's go and look again. Come on. What about breakfast? Breakfast can wait. Nope, I can't figure it. They couldn't have crawled over one or two feet. Did you look in the other stalls? Breakfast. Coming. I don't want any breakfast. Look, starving yourself to death ain't going to help find them. Come on now. Come on. to a donut, that dog found them kittens. Ah! I told you. Lassie found them. They're in the barrel with the mother cat. We won't have to drown them now, will we, Gramps? Easy, Kitty. Easy. Lassie found the kittens. The mother cat's in with them. Oh, that's wonderful. Something wrong with the leg. 
broke, likely. Probably car hit her. She's still nursing. That won't be for long. Why not? Well, the flow of milk will stop if she's in pain. What are we going to do? Now, don't flare up. Don't flare up. Call Frank Weaver and tell him we got a cat out here with a broken leg. Tell him no matter what he thinks, I want him to come out here and set it. Now, go ahead. Okay. You kind of changed your tune, haven't you? Well, a man ain't made of stone. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Just put her in her basket. Oh, my God. <clears throat> oh, she'll be all right now. Let's have the kitten ship. Just make sure she gets plenty of food and water. <laughs> Look at them go after that. <laughs> Not so bad setting the cat's leg, young fella, but I'm warning you, I'm not taking the tonsils out of a chipmunk. <laughs> Bye. So long, Doc. Thanks a lot. I gotta get over to the Smiths. They've got a heifer that's acting up. Thanks again, Frank. I'll right, see you Bye. later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, she seems to be fine now. You know, I've been thinking, we got quite a lot of mice in the barn, and it wouldn't hurt a bit to have a family of cats around. Not a bit. <laughs> I'm speaking to you. Uh, Lassie found a litter of kittens. Oh, the poor little thing. When I woke up, Lassie wasn't there. Then I looked out the window and she was carrying one of them out here. Well, that's no excuse for not wearing your robe and slippers. How many are there? Four. Look, I don't know about you, but I got some sleeping to do. I'll get a sack and take them down to the lake. What for? I gotta drown him. Drown him? Jeff, maybe you better go back to bed, honey. Why do they have to be drowned, Gramps? Why? Just the other day you were saying we had mice here in the barn. Why can't we keep them? You see any mother cat around to feed them? Couldn't we hand feed them? Like we did with those baby pigs. Now stop pulling at me. Kittens ain't pigs. They're too young to hand feed. You might save one out of the lot. Might. Take with it. Gramps, maybe the mother cat had come, or we could look for her. She ain't coming, and we ain't looking in the dark. She's either dead or been picked up. Lassie couldn't have got near her if she'd been around. Couldn't we wait just a little while, Gramps? Just a little while. Jeff, I ain't drowning these little things because I liked it. No more than I like to put old Bess to sleep when she broke her leg. That mare and me spent a lot of years together. But there's one thing you've got to learn about animals. Time comes when they can't fend for themselves. And you've got to know how to fend for them. You've got to be the judge of uh, how to set them free from pain and suffering. It'd be a whole lot kinder to drown them now than let them starve to death. Couldn't we wait till morning, Dad? Wouldn't be any easier. Besides, the rats might get them. Dad was right, Lassie. They need their mother.
Beth? The kittens. Where'd you find them? You don't understand. Now, where'd you find the kittens? They couldn't have been here in the middle of the road. Do you mean to tell me that those little kittens were lying out here in the middle of the road all by themselves? Whenever you look at me like that, it means you don't know what I'm talking about. Remember the kittens you brought to the barn? The little ones that you carried in your mouth like this. Okay, now where'd you find them? Where you found them? Under the bush, huh? Gramps is right. If the mother cat had been anywhere around here, she would have never let you take them. What are you doing? Right along now. Yep, and the barn door is open. Well, be careful. Uh-oh, you woke him up. Now we're gonna catch it. It's me, Gramps. What are you doing out here this time of night? Newborn kittens, four of them. Lassie found them. I don't know where she got them, but... Aren't they cute? Oh, Lassie will stay with them and watch them. All right. Suit yourself. I'm going back to bed. Put out the lantern before you come in. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, Jeff. Nothing to be sorry about. Maybe by morning we'll think of something. Lassie, you're going to stay and watch the kittens, okay? Thanks, girl.
just don't know how to swallow this way, do you? Tommy Reddick as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie.